Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to integrate different social media logins with your WPLMS 4.0 site. So here you can see I have the WPLMS 4.0 site and on clicking the login, you'll see various social media login options such as Google, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, Apple. So we'll see one by one how we can configure each of these options and more options which are available. We are going to do is we'll go to the WP admin dashboard and here in the YBP settings, we'll see that we have the option below as the Firebase project. And here we can enter the Firebase config and we can enable various social login options. So for this, we have to go to the site, which is firebase.google.com. And here, if you have a Google account, you can simply log in using that Google account and log into this site. And then you can go to the console and here you can add a project. So you can add a project name. If you want to enable Google Analytics, you can, we can disable Google Analytics right now. And here our project is being created. So once our project is created, we continue the project. And here we go to the project settings. And we enable this option, which is the web app. And we can register the app. Once we register the app, it is going to show us the Firebase config. So we need to copy from this bracket to this bracket. So it is very important that we only copy from bracket to bracket. And then we can paste it in our site and save. Next, we continue into the console. And here we have the WPLMS web app ready. If you forgot to copy in previous step, you can also copy from here. Next, we need to go to the authentication section. Here we need to set up the sign in methods. So based on what all sign in methods you are going to enable for your app, for example, we'll enable Google, Facebook, Twitter, and Apple login requires an a developer Apple ID, which is going to cost you $99 per year. So we will cover this uh, later on and a GitHub login ID, uh, GitHub login, and we can save the settings. So in the Firebase project, in the sign in method, we are going to enable this and we'll save. So Google sign in is enabled. And then we have the Facebook sign in. So here the Facebook will, will ask for an app ID and app secret. And uh, to complete, we have to give this uh, OAuth redirect URI. So what we do is we go to the Facebook developers.facebook.com. And here, if you're logged into Facebook, then you'll directly see the my apps. And here you can create a new app. And since we are integrating Facebook login, we can click here and we can create the app ID. So once the app is created, we go to the dashboard and here you can see that we have the app ID in the uh, settings for the basic settings. We have the app ID and the secret. So we are going to copy this and paste it in our Firebase. And we'll copy this OAuth redirect and uh, and in the app domains, do mention your domain. So if we are using localhost, we'll mention localhost. Do mention the privacy uh, policy URL and terms URL. Then we go back to the dashboard and scroll down 
and you should see a ad product which is Facebook login and you need to click on setup so I just activated it and in this setup you will see the client OAuth settings with the valid OAuth redirect URIs and here in the Facebook settings we have the OAuth redirect URI we're going to copy this and and save the settings so we save the Facebook settings next we come to the Twitter we enable and then for API key and API secret we go to developer.twitters.twitter.com and in the apps make sure you, you are logged in and in the apps you need to create an app so you need to create an app in the uh, Twitter account it has a pretty uh, big form you need to fill in the purpose and all those things and here you can create the app name and write a description you need a website URL and make sure you enable the sign in with Twitter and once you do this you get the keys and token so this is the uh, key and this is the API secret key which you need to fill in here and then enable so once we have enabled these uh, login items we need to add the authorized domains so this is the important step that you need to add your website TLD which is the top limit top, top level domain here and uh, so that you can log in and now our uh, authentication social media login integration is ready because we enable the uh, we entered the Firebase API key and then we enable all these switches and now if we try on the front end uh, we should see the uh, social login options and if we try we're going to see the pop-up opening for the login the callback URL here you can see it is the Firebase app and it is sending the data back to our project where we are capturing it and here as you can see I have logged in so I was already uh, registered on the site using this uh, username it logged me in directly as that username That's it from WPLMS Tutorials. Thanks for watching.